Hi. Hi, I'm on. I'm on. Uh, I realized today that maybe the title of my slide, my prezzo was a bit misleading. I'm not actually making an infographic live, like right now, but it's a, <laughs> it's a little story about where I work and how we made one a bit more interactive. So very quickly, by means of introduction, I work at uh, a little company called Whistle Out. There's about five or six of us over in North Sydney. Uh, we're a little startup and it's like a comparison website. So uh, you've probably seen a bunch of them before. You, if you're going to buy mobile or broadband or credit card or something, we uh, compare them all and um, ferry, ferry you off to the right place. Um, uh, we realized pretty early on that um, a good way to build was uh, build our audience was to basically make other people look good. So we teamed up with a bunch of big media sites and we power uh, their uh, comparison stuff within their site. So you may not have heard of us before, but you may have actually used our site when you were trying to find a mobile. So uh, we now partner with all those sites and um, we actually get about 300,000 unique Australian visitors a month and they're a different 300,000 every month because by the nature of contracts and mobiles, you're, uh, you're pretty much just getting one and then two years later um, doing it again. Uh, anyway, so this is the type of thing that we all hate. You see the big ad for the mobile, you know, $800 worth of calls and you're like, uh, it looks like a scam and you're kind of very sus on the air, but it doesn't include the flag, flag fall and, you know, yada, yada, yada. So we thought we should make an infographic. In the States and in the UK, it's a bit easier because they actually um, talk about plans in terms of minutes. So you might get a plan that includes 300 minutes, but here it's a bit more kind of uh, hard to work it all out. So we thought, let's make an infographic. This isn't the infographic. This is a really good one that I found as, exa as an example. Uh, to show what I think is a good and a bad infographic. This is a great one. It's not even in English, but I kind of know. <laughs> but because it's so great, I know what's going on. I can see this. It's about you know browsers and there's colors representing blocks and themes. So it's so good that I can't even read the text, but I know what's going on. This is a bad one where it's just a bunch of circles and colors and there's no relationship between the you know what it's trying to convey and, and the graphics. So basically, you want to create an uh, infographic that uh, helps to tell the story of you know whatever's going on. So we made one. It was a static thing, and it uh, represented, it bro broke out all of the plans in the Australian market, and kind of said uh, how many minutes you would get on the right versus how much data comes in it. And we ordered them from best to worst, and it got quite a good uh, bit of coverage. So the SMH picked it up, and Gizmodo and a bunch of other sites picked it up, and actually got a bit of comment from ACMA, the government body, and they were kind of saying to the telcos. Uh, you're saying, you know, you can't do it because it's all too complicated, but these guys made a website that, uh, and here's an infographic that shows you how you can do it. So it's still sort of all, uh, all uh, you know, the, tel the telcos are trying to work out how they can uh, adjust their, their marketing speak to display minutes, but it was good to make a bit of a stir. And we realized at that point, maybe we actually need a tool that brings some of the figures to life because people in the comments were saying, uh, you know, yeah, but how does it work if I've got this much to spend or you know, I make this many calls and yada, yada, yada. So we thought we should make an infographic, a uh, working sort of infographic and incorporate it into the site. The site at the moment is um, just a pretty standard kind of, uh, you know, you search for something, you get a normal table, table of results and you can tweak stuff on the left and it, re, you know, reorders the, the results, which is pretty standard and what, what you expect to see. What we did though was made a, um, a kind of in, interpretation of the infographic and made it so you can... Uh, slide those things around. How are we going to have time? Wow, one minute to go. All right. So um, I won't do the demo, but effectively you can slide things around and the bars change. Uh, what do I know? It's okay to be lo-fi. So we looked at some awesome jQuery libraries and things like Raphael and high charts. And I'm not a jQuery expert. I can copy and paste it, but that's about it. So And there's only a handful of us. So we needed something that was manageable. So it's basically just a bunch of absolutely positioned divs and spans and there's a bit of Ajax that just controls the width of them. So in terms of maintain maintainability and uh, kind of not biting off too much, uh, we all thought it was, it was great to be lo-fi. So that's uh, one thing that we, w that we knew. Um, it's ba basically just HTML and regular CSS. I don't even think there's any HTML5 or CSS3 in there. Uh, and if you uh, strip out the CSS, it's just a nice bunch of... Uh, list of plans, which is pretty cool. The other thing I know is that you don't want to go too crazy. So in terms of an interactive uh, info, you know, infographic, this is a great example, which is actually, which is really cool, state of the web, and there's lots of stuff moving, and you've kind of got to 
move your mouse around and hover over stuff and you get more info. But uh, probably not good for our audience who just want to come in at a lunchtime and work out what mobile they want. So I know that uh, what we try to do is basically a different view on the search results. So I was thinking kind of just like the uh, toggle in iTunes between a uh, track listing and a cover view or something. So because you want your mum or dad to be able to use it. So uh, not going too crazy was another thing that I knew. And that's it. Thanks.